Okay, so question uh, 14 is a question on functions and it's on the junior cert uh, maths higher paper, the DEB 2020. So um, we're going to ask here, which is not a function? So which is not a function? Well, let's look at the four of these. So when we look at the four of these, we have a function that looks like an exponential keeps getting bigger. You may notice that this one here is a negative type x squared graph. This one is actually an exponentially getting bigger. It's kind of e to the power of something, but I mean, you won't need to know that, but this one looks fishy. We've never seen something like that before. This is just a straight line graph, like some y is equal to mx plus c job, right? But the main test that you actually have to do here is a thing called a vertical line test, right? So for a, a vertical line test, what's that? Well, a vertical line is literally what it sounds like. It's a line that goes vertically. So if I draw a vertical line to this a function, we see no matter what vertical line I can draw, I can actually only go through that function once. I only actually intersect it once. What if I draw vertical lines here? I can also only go through the function once. This one, however, is different. I can actually pick a vertical line that goes through the function and actually cuts it three times. Okay? This one again, any vertical line I draw is only going to cut that line once. So what we're actually looking for here is to test a function with the vertical line test. Right? So the vertical line test says if the vertical line um, crosses the function, we'll say, more than once, it is not a function. So, as you can see, it was the one that looked the strangest. You've never seen a function like this before. The reason why is because it's not a function. So, if it fails this vertical line test, you can definitively say it's not a function. So, I'll put a picture again of the question here, and um, you'll be able to see. So, it needs some justification. So, we pick C, and basically we'd be saying something like this. And then part B gives us this. It says a function is defined as this, f of x is equal to 4x minus 3. So the first question is find f of 5. f of 5 is simply 4 times 5 minus 3, which is 17. So that's that one. Nice and easy. And then part 2 of b, it says write f of k and f of 2k minus 3. Now, just like I replaced x by 5 here and replaced x by 5 in the function of myself, the answer is the exact same here. So for f of k, I simply say 4 times, I've replaced x by k, so I replace this x by k, 4 times k minus 3. That's the first one. And then f of 2k minus 3 is going to be no different. That's going to replace an x again by k. So that's f, oh, sorry, I need an f there. That's 4 times, and of course now 2k minus 3 goes in instead of x. Minus 3 again. Now 4 times 2k, that's 8k. 4 times minus 3, that's minus 12, and a minus 3 outside. So we get 8k minus 15 for that one. Okay, so I actually have... Um, my f of k and my f of 2k to be equal to 4k minus 3 and 8k minus 15. And then the last question says, what if you get this? What's k equal to? Find a value for k. Um, so if you like, find k, right? Such that we'll say f of k is equal to f of 2k minus 3. Well, we found f of k, it's 4k minus 3. We, fi we found f of k, 2k minus 3, which is 8k minus 15. So simply just solve this equation. It's an equation when we have an equals, okay? So we can solve this. We have one variable, one equation, that's good enough. But let's bring the k's to one side, the numbers to the other. So when 8k comes over, it becomes a minus 8k. 
we've minus 15 over here and when 3 comes over it becomes a plus 3 that gives us minus 4k is equal to minus 12 let's get rid of those negative signs 4k is equal to 12 remember I can change the signs all in one go over everything in an equation so 4k is equal to 12 then k must be equal to 12 divided by 4 which is equal to 3 that's it